Thank you for tuning in to the pastoral update for West Windsor Church. Uh, we're glad that um, we had our church door open last Sunday, and we had 16 people come, and uh, we, we had a real nice time of just sharing where everybody was at and discussing how we're all feeling, and it was very liberating for me. It was... Uh, it really made me feel good deep down inside. And so if you haven't uh, watched the service yet, uh, go ahead and watch it. Um, we actually have an uploaded live version uh, that we put on, on uh, yesterday or the day, the day before. And it's uploaded. And uh, I think we're going to uh, change the thumbnail. Right now the thumbnail has uh, Sally on it. And Sally basically said she wants that thumbnail to be something different. We, we did a lot of texting yesterday. Today is Thursday. And um, when we were texting yesterday, uh, we had quite a bit of discussion because the governor had um, addressed everybody uh, on Wednesday. And so... We were planning to have a praise team and a, you know, kind of a normal service this coming Sunday, but because of the way I think most people interpreted the governor, they decided they wanted to wait until May 31st. So we will continue to be, as uh, one person put it, a church with its door open, and I'm uh, fascinated that uh, that is a, a way that a lot of people are talking about it. It is my understanding that the governor made a comment about small churches are now allowed to meet, and um, so all of that stuff will be interpreted uh, one way or another. But at this point, a number of people have said on May 31st they want to do a combined Mother's Day and Father's Day service. So, you know, that's out there. I don't know, you know, if people will change their mind again. And if they do, that's okay. Uh, but that's out there. And so we're, we're moving with that. And if you can come and feel comfortable, uh, come on. The door will be open for you. And uh, we, when we're walking around and when we're getting ready to start at 11 o'clock, uh, we will be wearing face masks, and uh, I encourage people to, to have gloves, uh, wear gloves as well. So we're, we're practicing social distancing in a, in a very sincere way. Um, there's no question in my mind that uh, all of this needs to be taken very seriously, and I'm glad that we have a number of people who are willing to get started now uh, a little bit earlier than uh, some of the other churches, but... Uh, that just shows, I think, some good health and vigor and passion on our part. So that's really about it. Uh, I'm going to leave that as the pastoral update. Uh, I played uh, tennis with the tennis outreach group yesterday and the day before. And I played with a doctor who works at uh, McLaren. And he told me that uh, McLaren only had one case of COVID-19 that he is aware of. And so um, they, they've been in, 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 in business. And uh, so we, we practiced uh, social distancing while playing tennis. And, and all of that good stuff is going on. So uh, keep up with one another, whether it's texting, phone calling. Uh, keep the communication going. And let's pray together. Uh, Lord, we come together and we pray for our church, Lord, in the midst of our not being able to assemble as normal. And as we enter this new normal, Lord, and we reopen our church door, uh, we pray your blessing on our church and on one another. And Lord, lead and guide us as only you can through all of this. And Lord, we pray a special prayer for 
all of the needs that people have as they're watching this video. Lord, you know what each need is. And so we pray for all these unspoken requests, Lord. And we ask that your, your touch be upon them, your hand be upon them, uh, your healing come, uh, give courage and strength and power where needed as well. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.